Brothers. Hello and welcome back to part two of Six Plays Comedy Quest. Anyway, where am I? I've been meaning to say just how much I am impressed with these free-to-play games from the Steam store. Um, I, when I was getting them, I really didn't expect much from them. I expected, like, uh, those little flash games you get from sites such as board.com or Newgrounds. Yeah, they're kind of fun, but they're really just a good little arcade game. Um, but some of these have been real adventures. I'm actually getting super excited. So, without any further ado, let's get stuck back into it. Um, now I remember from last time... Oh, you can use the mouse wheel! Mouse wheel to scroll. Okay. I remember from uh, the last time I played, we need to check to see if uh, we've gotten that email from Ken. So, reply from Ken. There it is. It's an email from Ken. Hey kid, last night was pretty bad, but yep. I'm going to give you another chance. I have another game tonight at the Ha Ha Lounge. Try and get there early so we can talk about your stand-up. Hope to see you tonight. Ken. I better get going now. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, no time. Um, so when I was finding the uh, descriptions ya, and uh, links for this game, uh, during the upload of part one. Part two, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> uh, I did see accidentally a little bit of the playthrough and found out I've been doing it the wrong. Hey, Ken. Hey, kid. Look, I need you to do me a favor. Um, sure. I need you to hand out these flyers. Um, okay. How many do you want me to give out? All of them. Uh, okay, I'll see what I can do. I'll be in here when you're done. Okie dokie. Hand out flyers. I can do that. Oh, the game pauses when you go up here. Uh, I need the flyers though. Grab the flyers. Done. Alright, you. Hey! Flyer. Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey! Hey! Jesus! What was with her voice? She's like fucking... Wicked Witch of the West. I still have more to give out. Would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? No thanks. I do like pretty much I still have more how to on give point out. this game is when it comes to the life of a comedian. Because I've been flyering for hey. the comedy lounges. Uh, would you like to go? Get off. All right, Afro man, come here. Bring your hey. Afro right to me. Comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? No thanks. I still have more to give out. Yeah, of course. I'm trying to think of a number off the top of my head, but it's uh, quite expensive hey. to print flyers out, so really end up with only about uh, would 50. Would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Ah, uh, no thanks. Hey, see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, thanks. Hey, all right, we got two people on board. Buddy, bored of this. Um, okay, so this is the thing I saw in the walkthrough, though. You've got to pull out your nah. bloody journal nah. and click it on stuff to to bloody find the jokes. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. So you can improve your set by making notes of funny shit. Come on then. Well, I want to give her a flyer, but I also want to see. Nah. No, nothing funny about her. Hey, uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, hey. Brilliant. I've also noticed I that we're uh, more to give out. We're getting points for this. It looks very clean and empty inside. It says Ha Ha Lounge. Judging by the sign, this must be a cool place. Yep. You find yourself out the front of the Ha Ha Lounge. It's a pretty well-respected venue. Many great comics before you have started here. It's a place where legends and dreams are made or destroyed. To the right, the smell of garbage and wet hair is present. <laughs> it's a closed door of perception. 
Whoa, check out the comics that have played here before. Jill Frisbee, Steve Lydon, Andy Kaufman, George Carlin, Louis E.J., Mark Maroon, and Bill Kicks. This place has a great history. Brilliant. I've never heard of any of those people. Hey. Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, thanks. I still have more to give out. I'll probably fast forward this bit as well. Uh, would you like to go see some comedy at the Ha Ha Lounge? Hey, thanks. Uh, more to give out. Oh, I'm gonna be here really? all day. I should just dump these flies in that alleyway to the right. Ah, uh, I see. Alleyway to the right, eh? Um. <sighs> I mean, I told the guy to hand out the flies. I don't know. So, am I right? Or, yep, yeah, okay. Oh, there's, uh, I missed some Mr. Burns graffiti. I think it's Mr. Burns if he was drawn by someone holding a pen with two hands. <laughs> it's an industrial garbage bin. There's some kind of wet, hairy thing by the bin. Oh, uh, right, 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 right. So this stuff that he's commenting on, I should probably... Here we go. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Mm. Hey, that's a good idea. I'll put it in my notebook. Oh, okay. I already have that in my book. Brilliant. I found a funny. It wouldn't be wise to touch that. No, wouldn't it? All right. Nah. All right, I've got the wrong thing. Dump these flies. Good idea. I'm not going to stand out here like a complete spoon giving out flies all day. Mm -hmm. Then okay. all right, head inside. Um, and these this art styles. Girl at the just ticket looks really booth cool. looks like she'd rather be anywhere but here. Yeah, is that right? Well, is that funny? Nah. Yeah. Let me talk to her. Let's uh. Use our charm and wit. Welcome to the Ha Ha Lounge. Tickets are as following. Adults are thirty dollars each or twenty nine fifty for students. Or group bookings start at fifty dollars and up. How many tickets do you need, sir? Hey there, is Ken around? Who? Ken. Um Ken sent me? Who? Ken? Never heard of him. That's okay, I've just always wanted to say that. Whatever. <coughs> Um, how much are tickets again? No, they're just too expensive. Uh, I'm here to perform. I'm here to perform. Look, if you, like, want to see the show, you need to pay like everyone else. This is the Ha Ha Club, not the Uncle Bunking Comedy Hour. Look at you, you don't even have a beard. Thanks for your time. Sorry to bring you down. If there was a point system for self-esteem, I would be at minus 200 right now. Where am I going <laughs> to find a beard? It's not like people throw them away. Oh, I'm going to have to... Go and get that wet, hairy thing and stick it on my face, aren't I? That's not a solution to your beard problem. Ugh, have a look around. It's a vase full of sticks or wank, I can't tell. <laughs> nah. The famous comedy icon of the Groucho Marx glasses. Also known as the Beagle Puss. The universal stamp of quality in comedy lounges the world around. Really? I didn't know that. What is it? I find this work menacing, but playful. Because of the way the optical suggestions of the spatial relationships bring within the realm of discourse the essentially transitional quality, I have no idea what I just said. Ha <laughs> uh ha. -huh. Nah. Okay, so you can be funny to yourself, but not funny enough for the book. Alright, let's go get stick that wet hairy thing on our faces. Just let me out! There we go. Alright, okay, Grab it, man. I don't really want to touch myself. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wise to touch that? 
There we go. Da -da -da. Wet, hairy thing. Okay. How do I look? Oh, you look so gross. Friends, back. Okie dokie, I am back and bearded and ready to be lit inside. Hey there, I'm here to perform tonight. Oh, cool. I'll open the door for you. Thanks. Brilliant, because everyone knows yeah, all you need to get into comedy is a beard. For the first time in my life, I feel like I'm part of the cool kids. Hmm. Cool. All right, wait, 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 wait. Have a look around. Is anything about this? Must be free entry if you have a beard day. <laughs> yes, well noticed. Everyone has beards. Can you write that down? Hey, that's a good idea. I'll put it in my notebook. Wait. It kind of was free entry if you had a beard day, wasn't it, though? Maybe it's just not today. Maybe that's why everyone does slap hairy shit in the face and get inside because they have a beard. That's just it? She just hey, lets Ken, people in who I've have beards? I've got rid of your flyers for you. Who are you? It's me, Ken. The kid. Who? Oh? It's me, Ken. I'm wearing a fake smelly beard. Who? Oh? I'm the kid who handed out your flyers. Ah, uh, you probably just threw them all in the bin. No! I, I, I totally was out there and gave them all out. Yeah, great kid. You really helped me out. Uh, it's a full house tonight, but feel free to stand at the back and enjoy the show, right? Um, sorry? Yeah, the show's about to start, so you better get back there. Oh, I was kind of expecting to get up tonight. <laughs> Good one, kid. It's stuff like that that'll make you a great comic. This is not why I got out of bed today. What? We have to get up. What's this guy doing? I should wait until they call me out first. Okay, but... He looks very engaged in his phone. Yeah? He looks very engaged in his drink. He looks very engaged in his phone. Is any of that funny? Nah. Talk to these people? Hey there. You on tonight? Hey there, are you on tonight? Oh, yeah. So, yes? Yes. Great! How long have you done stand-up for? For about... 11 years. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I like your beard. Thanks. You. Want nice to... talking to you. Good. Bye. Hey, can you write about him? Nah. Yeah. yeah. Are you on hey tonight? There. Are you on tonight? Yeah, are you? Not supposed to. Yeah, I was supposed to. Ken made you fly for the show, didn't he? Yeah. Don't worry, he did the same thing to me when I started. Hey, Ken, give this kid a break, would you? Okay, kid. You can go on first, but don't make me regret it. Hey, thanks. No problem. Hey, that guy is a nice guy. How long have you been doing stand-up for? How long have you done stand-up for? Too long, kid. Too depressingly long. Cool. <laughs> yep. Who's your favorite comedian? Inane. Inane chatter. Thanks for the okay, chat. Okay, thanks for the chat. No problem. Let's go over and talk to Ginger over here. Hey there. So are you on tonight? Huh? How long have you done stand-up for? What? Any new bits you're trying tonight? Yeah, you can use it. Nice talking nice to you. Nice talking to you. Sure, sure, cool, cool. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, uh, let's, uh... I should wait until they call me out first. Now, yeah, do you talk to Ken some more? So I'm cool to go on now? Okay, kid. Let's get this show going. Alrighty. Okay, change of lineup. Now, it's new kid on first. Fine. Then Hank Balls. Cool. Yeah. Then Frank Gray. Okay. Then a break. And then your headline, Bob Beard. Bob Beard. Okay. MC, <laughs> Ryan Tokes. Sure, sure. Okay, let's have a great show, everyone. It's a packed room. I'll just take this stinky beard off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ha Ha Lounge. Please welcome to the stage your MC, Ryan Tokes. Hey. 
Hey, how we all doing? Are we ready for a big show? Whoa! Yeah! Oh yeah! All right, let's kick this show on. Have you ever noticed when a girl's not into a guy, he's never gonna get another chance with her? But when a guy's not into a girl, he's all like, well, let's see what happens. Ooh. Oh my God, that is so true. Think about this one. Why is a person who plays a piano called a pianist, but a person who drives a race car is not called a racist? <laughs> it's funny because it's true. If a cow laughed, would milk come out of her nose? Hello. Okay, we're going to have a great night of stand-up. You guys seem amazing. Are you ready for a great show, people? Whoa. Yeah. Hell yeah. Please welcome to the stage. He's new, but one of the funniest guys I've ever met. Let's make him feel welcome. Here is a new kid. Alrighty, let's see um, if we can uh, hi. use the beard people joke. What's going on tonight? Is it free entry if you have a beard day? Feels like I'm in a folk festival. Hey. Sometimes I think. Sometimes I just sit back and think about how funny the world would be without elbows. That didn't go well. <laughs> Why not? Jeez. Uh, oval team? Yeah, what's Here's the deal with oval team? Here's a fun fact. The mug is round. The jar is round. They should call it round teen. <laughs> go, Jerry. Go. Uh, what from the notebook? Smart cola. I'll finish on this. Have you guys seen this so-called smart cola? Yeah, smart cola. Surely those two words have never existed together before. But here they are. The tasty drink that makes you think. And what makes this cola so smart? They add caffeine. Not even a spoonful, like a dump truck of caffeine. You might not get any smarter, but at least you will never sleep again. Thanks guys, you've been great. Peace. Great set. Sweet. I feel like I did great. Not really. Time to ditch the beard. Good to get out of here. The smell of cool in that place was at a dangerous level. Great set, kid. You have some great stuff there. Hey, thanks. How long have you done comedy for, kid? Um, this is my second gig. Yeah. Really? You have some good stuff, kid. Keep it up. Cheers. Have you ever done Minx Bar? No, where is that? It's a little out of the city, but it's a cool little club. You should drop them an email and get a gig. Hey, thanks, I will. Better than these room Ken runs. Okay. Hey, after this, we're heading to Godfrey's if you want to come. Yeah, cool. Anyway, better get back to it. Once again, great set. Yeah, you too. Looks like I'm going to be hanging out with some real cool comedians. Swill? Some drinking later. I think we can all agree that Keaton was the best Batman. No way, Christian Bale was way more believable. Bale sucks. The only thing people will remember from The Dark Knight was how much Ledger owned playing the Joker. I'm still a big oh, fan man, of this is some old references. Burton film. It was a good mix. Burton, Keaton, and Prince. Prince is the best. The Bat Dance was the greatest video clip ever made. Agree. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I gotta decide what to say. Bloody paragraphs here. I've always been a big fan of Keaton. I think really Christian Bale's the best Batman. For my money, no one is better Batman than Adam West. <laughs> uh, what about Val Kilmer? I seriously think George Clooney is the best Bat by far. Oh, man. I could make them hate me here because I know people hate the, uh, the George Clooney Batman film. Uh, Batman and Robin, that's the fun. But it was my favorite, it really was. Oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze was just No, 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 killed. seriously. I seriously think George Clooney was the best bat by far. <laughs> Who do you think should play Batman that hasn't yet? Josh Brolin? Ooh. Oh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt. John Hamm. What about you, kid? Um, to play Batman who hasn't done it uh, before. I only know two of these uh, celebrities. Um, 
James Franco and Benedict Cumberbatch. And I don't think either of them are right for the role of Batman. If I had to choose one of them, though, I think Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch. I would love to see that. He's already the world's greatest detective. Agree. What about that new Star Wars film? I doubt it'll be any good. Yeah, nothing really beats the original trilogy. Agree. What's your favourite Star Wars film? New Hope, Empire or Jedi? Empire. Jedi. Original. What about you, kid? Um, my favourite? Probably The Empire Strikes Back, I think. Empire. The darkest of the trilogy. Agree. Is that Totes Lol over there? Ah, that Totes. guy's such a dick. Agree. Um, yeah, he's a dick. Yeah, I was on at the pit the other night. He was the MC and he was terrible. Where does Ken book that dick? Who knows? Well, it's that time of night for another drink. You up for another drink, kid? Yeah, sure. I don't have any money. I don't have any money. You get the next round next time, then. Agree. Oh. A lot more drinking later. Oh, good for them. They shouted me. Nah. I don't know. Nah. The best of weavers is very Hey, good beer, sir. Ever here, we will be. Herb a heavy weasel fiegel? Herb a heavy weasel fiegel. Ha! I just want to say this. You guys are my best. Nah, you guys are alright. Yeah? Nah, you guys are so alright. I'm like you, Anna. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. See? Aha. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Uh, I have this game feels so Australian to me. A lot of me. time and drinking later. The room becomes dizzy and your eyes become heavy. You find yourself drifting away to a strange new world. Mm. Where am I now? Okay. Am I dead? You're not dead, kid. Who said that? The ghost of George Carlin? <laughs> Hardly, kid. This is more a deep subconscious mashup of bits and pieces in your mind. So I'm basically talking to myself? Uh, pretty much. But you can pretend you're talking to the ghost of George Carlin if that helps. I think I will. I'm already way ahead of you. Um, you do that bit you always do? What happens when you die? What's the secret of being a great comedian? That's what we want to know. What's the secret of being a great comedian? Well, first off, you need to stop being a hack and start generating your own ideas. Um, thank you? But the thing is, kid, you just need to find your own voice. There's nothing I can tell you to help you find this. It's just gonna be up to you. You just need to keep at it and hopefully someone will notice you. But how will I know when I find my voice? You just need to try different styles and see what works for you. Some people write short jokes. Other people tell stories. Some even do anti-comedy. The bottom line is, you just need to learn how to make it funny. That's the key to success. Hey, thanks. And then I'll be famous? Uh, yeah. Sure. I guess you should just start with aiming to be a solid comic. Making people laugh is what the world needs most. Thanks. This makes a lot of sense to me. Can I ask you one more thing? Uh, sorry, kid. I gotta go before you realize that you're just talking to yourself. Hey, wait. But you already explained like, that. Remember, find what works for you. But I have so many more questions. Sorry, kid. You work it out. So many okay. questions. I don't think I'm going to be drinking for a while. Yeah, not if this is how you react to it. What happened? How did I get back here? Oh. Hey, kid, open up. Ah, oh, crap. It's my landlord. Uh-oh. Oh, hi, Mr. Pochetto. Kid, your rent's due. If I don't get the rent by tomorrow, you'll be out on the street of all the other turds. No problem, Mr. Pachetta. You'll have your money. Just don't make me have to break your legs. I don't want to have to break your legs. Oh, yeah, I'm not shit. a fan of my legs being broken. Have a nice day. Where am I going to get rent from? Alrighty. Well, we are going to have to worry about 
rent and new comedy materials and a third and I believe final gig uh, next time because this is the end of the episode don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time bye I don't like that intro. I don't like it at all. Back it up. Uh, hello and welcome to Six Plays Comedy Quest Part 2. No, fuck it, we might go with the first one. Oh gosh, I'm, I'm not happy about what's transcribed here. Transcribed. Yep. Wordings.